boom and everything uh, prepped so that you are ready to ask your questions um, and that to um, audience, okay? Thank you again for joining us and we will get started in a few minutes. I know Ali probably will give you some um, introductions, some question and answer rules and things of that nature. But again, thank you and welcome to Cred Talks 12. Thank you, good to be here. We, we do appreciate you for being here today. Uh, as well as my, my great brother, uh, Curtis Toller, man. We appreciate you. I see your background, man. Right on. <laughs> so, yeah, power to the people, man. Let's start so, off. Ain't, ain't no doubt about it. Right. So, uh, you know, we try to wait till 3 o'clock on the dot to let people kind of come in. And I know we two minutes shot. Uh, getting it to your attention, man. You know, that brother mm -hmm. came from Oakland, man. He's been doing a lot of work, man. That's a good brother, Bob. Right on, right on. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you for having me. Just seeing, like, I guess I'm, I'm on his Zoom page. I see his name in the corner. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, again, thank you, for, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, if you guys got questions, if you guys got questions, man, we need y'all to put it in the chat box. Raise your hand, but put your questions. If you can raise your hand and put it So you're right. Yes, indeed. We're still on. What I'm just saying. We still good. Yeah, you're still good. Okay. Okay. Um, while well, a lot of a lot of young, younger younger people in, in um uh, in particular, but people in general, why they not familiar? This 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 youth. I was looking at the school one time. Uh, the school. Um, ironically, ironically, school was uh, named um Winnie Mandela. And the school and the, the children I was speaking to, they had they were for me who Winnie Mandela was, and I was you know going through the history of who Winnie Mandela was. By the way, uh, uh, condolences. Um, in fact, uh, her, her, her Nelson Mandela's daughter just passed a few days ago, the youngest daughter I believe. But um, yeah. I just the, uh, the, uh, the, a youngster at the school had said to me, and I'm paraphrasing him. He's about 13, 13, 14. He said, man, he say he say they kill people like you. He say you know you say that, that that's what happens to you. So. I just want to open. I want to preface with that, that reason. It's not just about happenstance why people are not familiar with the Black Panther Party. The Black Panther Party was it was a revolution. Um, you know, Tupac had you know said in one of his songs. You know, we you know, no, this is no slight or disrespect to Dr. King, but we're told more of who to speak about who as opposed to who not to know about. Um, the Black Panther Party became an international organization. It was started on October 16th, 1966, by Minister U.E.P. Newton, Chairman Bobby Seale. The largest chapter um, ended up subsequently being uh, the state of Illinois under the under the leadership of Chairman Fred Hampton. And under his under his, uh, under his uh, tenure, a lot of this, uh, some of the Black Panther Party survival programs, such as and I emphasize this, the first free breakfast program, they fed a minimum of 3,500 children a week. Now and this, this is prior to the public the public school, public schools even having a discussion about uh, free free lunch. Uh, Black Panther Party free busing programs to prisons. It was actually Chairman Fred who authored the Rainbow Coalition. Uh, and, and, and mind you, this was in a city that was, in for all practical purposes, dreams to be one of the top segregated cities in the country. So the Black Panther Party was an organization that was that dealt with the race and the class contradiction, and it was a revolutionary organization. Contrary to a lot of the 
misinformation, the propaganda through the, through the schools, the media that tried to devalue the importance of that just simply of uh, race nationalism. Or you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, but again, it was a it was a political organ. It was a political organization. It was a, it was an armed propaganda unit. And so, uh, am I correct? It was the Black Panther Party for self defense. And, and what was the self defense part for in the name? The initial name was the Black Panther Party for self defense. Um, this is the name um, which um, was sparked in response to, to the rampant. Uh, Polish brutality, which we refer to as the police terrorism, that the black community in particular was subjected to. Um, we've seen a major case out of Richmond, California, that of Denzel Dow, you know, uh, in which the Black Panther Party, you know, it, it, it came and politicized and, you know, and, and uh, organized the people. In fact, Minister UEP Newton said that we must even politicize the gun. In other words, what made the, uh, our gun unique? What made the gun different from the police's gun? And this the self defense. It was uh, some of the um, um, responsibilities that came with that. Is that when the police came, you know, saying, you know when they, uh, came through the community, you know, um, contrary to what we see in the white communities and other communities where you, it was actually happening. It would go other communities. It, that, that was like that wasn't fictional about getting cats, saving cats out of trees, and you know, also friendly, so on and so forth. But the police then, as well as now, operated as occupying army. You know, in other words, I mean, uh, 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 there can be similar conversations with the Vietnamese people, you know, saying, uh, doing occupation of Vietnam, Philippines, Africa, so on and so forth. And uh, the party would tell you, lay out to the people what you were responsible to say, what, you, what, what information you had to divulge, so on and so forth. And that was, again, you know, that was an initial name for the Black Panther Party for self defense. It later dropped the self, self defense. Uh, um, and it was, again, it was, a, it was a, organ, a political organization. And so, uh, what, what were the, the, the the steps or, or the mantra or the motto of the Black Panther Party? The Black Panther Party, again, um, it, made, it, it, it was a revolutionary organization. It, had, it was armed with a 10-point platform. It was, uh, it was armed with an ideology, a platform which um, addressed uh, the basic needs and aspirations of the people. Uh, it, it broke down the plain, lamest terms. You know, traditions in the community ranging from, you know, uh, um, uh, in particular, that of the uh, uh, end, call for the end of, of what was referred to then as Polish, Polish brutality, um, decent housing, decent education, uh, a jury of your own, of, of, of your own peers, basic needs and aspirations of the people, all, uh, a plebiscite, and, uh, uh, which really was like a, a call for a vote, you know, the people themselves, because contrary to what many people believe what, what, what a, a revolutionary organization uh, was and is, it was not a dictatorship. It was not going out saying that we're going to tell you what the, you know, what the people what the people want. A, a, a call for a vote, a, a national vote from the people. What do you what, what do you see? What do you need? What do you see um, is needed for the community? Um, also, mind you, at that particular time, uh, the draft. The, the draft was a phenomenon. You I mean, you may hear about different stories about individuals uh, being draft dodgers. Or, you know, so in fact, it was, a, it was a, it became a phenomenal discussion of uh, the position taken. Um, by Muhammad Ali, which, you know, in, in, which uh, he basically assessed that he was not, he didn't see, he, he could not relate to going across seas, going to Vietnam, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and um, fighting some yellow, some, some yellow, yellow men, you know what I'm saying, for some white men, you know what I'm saying, that, that's what, another, another colonized community that never, never called them nigger. And they addressed it, not only did the Black Panther Party address it, because you had different anti-war mil, mil, uh, uh, people who against the military, against the war, so on and so forth, that may have took a, a liberal position, but the Black Panther Party had even upped the ante to the point we've seen uh, such forces as Deputy Minister of Health Ronald Doc Satchel, um, uh, with, the, with, the, with the, uh, the community uh, community in Vietnam, with the work about the, the free medical the free medical center the Black Panther Party had correlating to the, uh, the the healthcare situation in Vietnam. You, um, in fact, Minister U.E. Peter they took they went so far to say the victory. For the Vietnamese people, in fact, that that you, 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 there are some famous pictures of Minister U.P. doing the, the V sign. A lot of the um, uh, 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 anti-war activists, similar to today, a lot of people come in. They hijacked and co-opted certain terms. Many people just try to say it, it meant peace, but it was actually Minister U.P. knew that it was a position of V for victory for the Vietnamese people. Oh, that's interesting. So. Uh 
So you hit on a couple of points that, that we're still facing today, uh, police brutality. Uh, let's move to Chicago, if you will, because I, you know, I just want to be sure that I heard you correct. When you said that, that the chairman, uh, Fred Hampton, was one of the starters of the free lunch program, which we now see uh, throughout uh, Chicago public schools and abroad. Black Panther Party, the Black Panther Party had survival programs and um, we've seen in Chicago as well as any other colonized community where, you know, black children in particular, their graves were not up to par. Many people took a reactionary reaction, a reactionary position, you know, similar to today, where a lot of people have reactionary responses about the, the crime, the killing that, that occurs in uh, what, what is infamously referred to as Chirac. And a lot of people have an issue with that term. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we don't. In fact, the Black Panther Party Cubs Opposition is that you know we add on to the old saying which says God created Africans and America made niggas. The the the, the, the machine, the marriage, the machine manufactured Chirac. So what you're seeing is, is, is done by design. And, but uh, so and it's an emotional issue. So a lot of people they would like a, a reactionary quick fix to just say simply black on black crime, or even to say senseless violence, which is not senseless. It makes a, it makes a lot of sense to the benefactors of the of the, of the blood shit that's happening in, in Chicago. Similar to that of the children going to school and grades not being at the par. It was, you know, saying all type of uh, um, uh, excursion and futilities, reactionary discussions. Why, you know, why, why you know, do they, they, they uh, it starts at home. You know, what I'm saying negating a basic dynamic, a basic contradiction. That being any child, any child, whether it be black, white, or whatever, whatever color, that's, you know, what I'm saying it's going to school hungry, it's hard to focus. On you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 nouns and verbs, you know what I'm saying, the, the, uh, multiplication, you know what I'm saying, that basic dynamic. And the Black Panther Party just didn't just didn't talk, just didn't say it. They didn't they didn't engage in what Chairman Fred referred to as intellectual masturbation. In other words, a bunch of talk. They organized the Black Panther Party free breakfast first free breakfast program, with fed a minimum of Chicago of 3,500 children a week in Chicago alone. You know what I'm saying, got the people involved in these programs. These are not programs for charity, but the people. Came there and, and, and supported them, condoned them, endorsed them. The Black Panther Party subsequently turned these programs over there to the people. You know what I'm saying? And these, 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 we see different state institutions try to come in and adapt it to take it. You know what I'm saying? Co-opted. You know what I'm saying? But the deal is, is uh, Deborah Johnson, now known as the Cool and Jerry, the widow of Chairman Fred, as she has said to some individuals who was trying to, as we say in the streets, false flag with the Black Panther Party name. But the Black Panther Party often imitated but never duplicated. Oh, Miss Deborah, you know, really good people, one of the strongest women that I've I've met. Uh, so with all of this, all of the great things that you're saying that the, the Black Panther Party was doing, uh, why why wasn't it accepted by the government? You think? Hmm. I, is this something I should touch? I don't see you. I can't see you. Is, is it cool? Is it all right? No, it just went out. Is it something I should touch on here? We're still good. Still good. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Black Panther Party was an organization that fought on its own terms. Um, you know, you know, even even and, 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 and that's something that many people take for granted you know, about about that dynamic of self determination. There's certain things, like for example, like you know, even even you know, this is no slight. You know, say even with, with setting up this show for us to do, to do this interview. We had to go through certain struggles about, you know, just even the, the, the title of Chairman Fred being put on there correctly. We had to go, you know what I'm saying? And this, and the, um, this is a revolutionary organization that follows on terms that many people say they have an issue with the system. However, really there's a reverence for it. And, 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 and they say it in theory, but in practice there's a reverence for it. You see, um, we, I, I recall... We correcting some reporters in Chicago to the newspaper for referring to Chairman Fred's wife as his girlfriend. The Black Panther Party took that. We're not going to challenge the city hall on Monday and then on Tuesday you say, okay, can you validate our relationship? In theory and in practice, they, you know what I'm saying, the titles, the terms, I recall um, having a discussion with Bernadette um, Devlin of the Irish Republican Army, and she and she said to me, she said, you know, she said, I remember you as a child. I remember this chain you had on. You, it was a, a bullet on, 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 on uh, as a baby, a bullet on the chain. But she said, your titles of your organization, your, your the terms. She said, that's, you say, I, Deputy Minister of Health, Doc Satchel, Chairman Fred Hampton. This is not no ego tripping. 
But a lot of the, like 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 it's subconsciously, like I tell people, you can, you know, people you will, you will, they will acknowledge the the monikers or nicknames for for hip hop artists, of uh, religious institutions, uh, for states, you know, what I'm saying the uh, uh, institution, the judge, the mayor, so on and so forth. As you can you can you can just take a, uh, uh hypothetically just say, okay, this is Professor such and such, and this is Reverend such and such, Minister U E P Newton. Even if it's subconscious, people say U E Newton because you know what I'm saying because 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 Politics impacts your hearing. It affects your it impacts your vision. The Black Panther Party was a revolutionary organization that stood up on its own terms and fought on its own terms. A lot of organizations they may fight and they may get they may gain certain ground, but it's still done in the confines of the system, telling them this is what you can say. This is your spokesperson. This is your speech. This is how you. This is these. This is this. These, these are these, go go by this rule book. Go by this Robert Rules of Order. It was a. It was. A, and then on the other hand, you have some people that move in a reactionary way. They, they just say, well, I'm just mad. But the Black Panther Party was a structured, organized political vehicle that, you know what I'm saying, had survival programs that served the people, you know what I'm saying, but was armed with a politic on its own terms. And so we're talking about uh, in the 60s, you know, moving toward the late 60s. And we know uh, uh, during that time there were, there, there were a lot of other movements uh, in in LA as well as in Chicago, but particularly in Chicago, when you think about the street organizations which that were starting to evolve, evolve. What was the relationship between the Black Panther Party and the street organizations in the name of the, the Stones, the Vice Lords, and, and the Disciples during that time? It was it's a dynamic. Now, is it, the more I, you know, as I organize and learn today, a lot of people, you know, say I'm really not uh, uh, equipped to really, you know, saying. Um, that's it. Like, like, I've seen so many, and I, I've had this, you know, this, this struggle with a lot of individuals, whether it be on movie sets or um, other organiz, or, you know, other arenas of organizing. Um, not the, the delicacies of that, of taking a phenomenon. And um, as Minister U.E.P. News said, that power, power is the ability to define phenomenon and make it act in desired matter. Power is the ability to define phenomenon and make it act in desired matter. Now, a lot of people look back and just take the relationship that Reverend Nat Turner had with the church and they look at it reactionary. You know what I'm saying? This man just snapped out. But Reverend Nat Turner was a realist. He, he, he defined a phenomenon of the church. Harry Tubman defined a phenomenon of the Negro spirituals. Chairman Fred Hampton was a realist. He defined the phenomenon of the, even the, the, the organization you know what I'm saying? The, the, in the city that, again, was remained to be for all practical purpose one of the top segregated cities in the country. And he defined, he was, he defined it. He won, you know, and it came in respectfully. Won certain forces at certain points of unity, recognizing that there were even class contradictions within various respective organizations. And was um, it wasn't just, I, 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 it humors me sometimes when I see people try to assess the, some of the Rainbow Coalition, like it's just this, you know, they, they, like this just they just came together and just you know just started singing Kumbaya. The reality was, in the reality, you know, what I'm saying you had you had a, um, for example. Uh, even with the race contradiction, the young patriots, a group of young white young, white cats out of Appalachian Mountains who were so reactionary at one point, they were wearing Confederate flags on their jackets. You had, you know what I'm saying, you had uh, the Blackstone Rangers, the, 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 the photo black disciples, the devil disciples. You had uh, contradiction with the FBI, had a, a proposal to the vice law. They would get them 16th Street, a portion of the west side of Chicago, if the Black Panther Party was not able to open a free medical center on 16th Street. Chairman Fred was able to win these very forces at certain points of unity. And it wasn't just no, you know, come in, we all come together, we love you, so on and so forth. There were different points, acknowledging, dip, taking to account different contradictions and what points of unity. T like, I tell you, we say to people, politics is like real estate. Time, location, all that. We may be a good deal on the house today, may not be a good deal next week. Which, in the, you know, saying, which forces to dialogue with today may not be a good force to dialogue with uh, to, uh, uh, tomorrow. So, it was, it was a constant, you know, saying, have, having this ear to the ground, which forces to take with them, you know what I'm saying? And again, it could have, with any phenomenon, whether it be hip hop, whether it be the street organization, the street tribes, it can go either way. It can be a double edged sword. And we've seen cases where in the penitentiary, excuse me, the concentration camps, we've seen cases on the streets where the government tried to use a phenomenon against the Black Panther Party. You know what I'm saying? We've seen the infamous um, letters that the U.S. government uh, authored. And you know, saying the fictitious are letters, and they sent to black the Black Panther Party saying that this came from uh, Jeff Ford, Chief Malik, you know, saying Chief Malik and vice versa, trying to create antagonistic situations. You know what I'm saying? But it's again, 
what, 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 what was in the letter? I read it, but for those who don't know, what, what was the letter saying, and what were they trying to, and what were they trying to brew up? And when I there, say they, it's the government. There were a number of different letters, but one, one in particular, the one of the most famous letters was. Uh, where the, uh, the government that you know uh, authored these letters and uh, said something to the fact that you know um, one to some to the Black Panther Party, some to the Black Stone Rangers, prior to the Black Peace Stone Nation, you know one just uh, a brother in the neighborhood, and I see that the black that these guys, these Panthers trying to take over your they, they out for themselves, trying to take over the territory, and vice versa. And um, oh, the Stone said this, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? But again, this is a true. But Chairman Fred. Again, and, and it's important to note that to acknowledge the, the, in the community something that the, that the system plays up and, 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 and many people fall prey to is not not, uh, not acknowledging that there are contradictions in our community. You know, it's a contradiction. You know, saying, you know, saying whether it be the Crips and Blood, Stones and Disciples, whatever the case may be. You know, saying the Muslim community, the Christian community, so on and so forth. But the, the ruling class, they give the impression that, that they don't have any contradictions. You know what I'm saying? But th th nothing can be further from the truth. You know what I'm saying? However, they have they find points of unity and they acknowledge those contradictions. The, the, so again, we was the, the, the Black Panther Party, you know what I'm saying? We, we uh, approached the, uh, uh, the community as realist, recognizing there are contradictions. And so the state cannot exploit them to the point that they become antagonistic contradictions. And we've seen such cases with points of unity again. The vice lord subsequently working at the free medical center. The, the devil disciples later become the black disciples of the free breakfast program. You know, saying uh, uh, the uh, membership, the representation of solidarity at the, at the funeral for Chairman, for Chairman Fred, the black with the uh, black peace stone nation, the black disciples. So, so and even and I'm, I'm gonna quote the government because a lot of times we don't believe nothing that's true or, or, or factual unless we say the white man said it or the government said it. But the government itself said when the Black Panther Party was in existence, there was a record low to what they referred to as black on black crime. That's interesting. Uh, and so it seemed like once the organizing start, started to get really, really big and a lot of people started being members of the Black Panther Party, whether directly or indirectly, because I met a few older brothers uh, who, who were part of the Stone Rangers, and they said that they peace stood for power. They would call themselves the Black Fowler Stone, right? And, I, and you know, indirectly spoke really, really highly uh, of the chairman Fred. And so subsequently, a lot of Panthers started getting arrested and, and even gunned down. Is that correct? No, that's important to note that the repression, because a lot of times, you know, uh, people try to just, you know, in fact, I remember this uh, individual with another respectable organization, they were saying, you know, like, the movement just died away. And I said, well, that's a telltale sign that you don't know, really know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Nothing could be further from the truth. The movement just didn't die away. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, that's kind of like, you know, people just say, you know, we just, you know, people just ended up from Africa and just, 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 just fell off into America. You know, you're negating a major, a major contradiction. You know what I'm saying? The, the deal is that, that was, a, that was an attack. Um, that was a program. Uh, in this, in this, in this, um, uh, documented a program, COINTELPRO, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh architected by, uh, the deputy director of the FBI, William Sullivan. Created by the uh, uh, former director of the uh, FBI, uh, J. Edgar Hoover, a program which the government itself said in their own words was created to discredit, to destroy, to demise, dismantle any black nationalist movements, especially amongst the youth. Over 90% of that program was directed to the Black Panther Party. And it's consistent of, oh, but it was not limited to. The straight out assassinations, as we've seen uh, April 6th, two days after Dr. King was assassinated. Oakland, California, 17 year old Bobby Hutton, treasure for the Black Panther Party. We've seen the, uh, uh, the forcing of individuals into political exiles. We've got some forces to this day, Saddam Shakur and others still in political exile. We've seen the mass kidnapping. We've seen the uh, trumped up charges back to back. I mean, when the comrades from Illinois chapter, Comrade Stan McKinnon, we just dialoguing today earlier, just going through the back to back time of the dates on the hits that was going on on Illinois chapter alone. And a lot of people play Monday morning quarterback. They look back, oh man. You should recognize this person was an informant. Dude, well, the Panther Party should have done this. And all these cats, you know what I'm saying, ain't never, they have no concept. You know what I'm saying? They, they, a lot of these cats think they had cell phones back then. But the, the, the counterinsurgency, the, 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 I mean, the, the constant, I mean, kicking through the, the, uh, the doors, locking up, framing, kidnapping every, you know, every day, uh, trumped up charges, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, rather, uh, the economic, the economics alone. Now, you know, a lot of people say, you know, we just got to get our money together. 
And I, you know, I, you know, we tell people, I see, like, I see they trying to starve us out, like the Black Panther Party Cubs right now today. You see other people benefit, get resources that, you know what I'm saying, that of the work that we are here on the ground doing. And we we recognize that we like the last call for alcohol. In other words, we the, we the, we the woman in the lounge that you don't see until the conditions get so intense. You say, who is that right there? So we out here, you know what I'm saying, whether it be come on the bus, serving the people with the Black Panther Party, you know what I'm saying, they were, Lou uh, Lou Palmer talked about, Lou Palmer said, uh, he, you know, were really, him and his wife, uh, Georgia, Georgia English, he recalled what really won him the scene about how he looked at the Black Panther Party, to write about it, uh, he said, you remember a situation, the Black Panther Party had all the free clothes, they did the, the free food program, they got, the, soon they got all the stuff stockpiled at the Black Panther Party headquarters, at 2350 West Madison, the police, you know, saying they, they they come in, they they were torched it, they burned it up, burned the papers up, burned the clothing up, burned the donations up, and it, you know, saying and, and, and these, so it wasn't just a case of people. We talk about the Marcus Garvey, he was an organizer, but you can't, you have to acknowledge the attacks that he was up under. A lot of people ain't getting no heat, not getting no attacks. So you may think they just, oh, they just, they just successful, they save their money, they work well. But the attack the, the, over again, over 90% of the coin tail program was directed to the Black Panther Party. It's you know, and sad to say what you to say right now today. The Black Panther Party Cubs, the attack we go. I mean, and, and, and it's, it's so crazy in some scenarios, even the names ain't changed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we we that the house we we the campaign we involved in right now. I got a shot to say the Hampton House. The house was Chairman Fred Hampton grew up in. We were fighting to save his childhood home. We didn't have to contend with um Athletes and actors, you know, they, they, you know, saying different bogus groups call themselves, you know, gun clubs and using Chairman Fred's name and no disrespect to you. I just, I just had to correct you about a, 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 a shirt. You know, what I'm saying they, they got these cats call themselves the um, uh, uncrowned kings. We refer to them as unclowned kings. They can go on YouTube and type in Chairman Fred Jr. shutting down contraband clothing. These they go out and take and use a name. This individual had Chairman Fred's picture on it, selling a shirt. It's on YouTube. Type in Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. Checking contraband clothing, and then when the heat come down, we catch the heat. But these individuals, they go, they, they profit off of our pain. So this is all part of the Pro. Like you said, some of the individuals, although they were not Panthers, but they were some different organizations taking a progressive stand on the other end of the spectrum. All police don't wear uniforms either. There are, you know, what I'm saying there are individuals that are whether it be uh, naively or uh, nefarious intent that work in into the county insurgency. So. So let's move right along to what was the climate uh, before uh, Chairman Frey was assassinated here in Chicago? It was a climate where the class piece was shook. It was shook. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was a, when I say class piece, you know what I'm saying, uh, that, you, that you had uh, class piece under the tenure of uh, uh, President John, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, where, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, the tax were going or happening. And the Black Panther Party was talking about it, but a lot of people were so, you know, caught up. They didn't see, they didn't see the uh, army tanks, and you know, what I'm saying coming down forty the south side of Chicago and throughout Detroit, Michigan. They didn't see President John F. Kennedy authorizing Attorney General Robert Kennedy to put a wiretap on Dr. King's uh, 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 home. They didn't see these different dynamics. But the Black Panther Party was, you know, saying who was, was was even when it was not popular, was out there, you know, saying. Man, these countries are similar to today. The Black Panther Party Cubs. We've been talking about the contradiction that the people are coming to grips with right now. So when they climb it under the tenure, I think the Richard Milhouse Nixon, under the campaign, what they call the campaign for law and order, it's similar to today, which is the camp under the tenure of uh, uh, U.S. President Donald Donald Trump. A lot of people would be reactionary. They think it's just not getting rough. This again, we it's been going down. You have to watch who has been consistent when it's not been fashionable. Of heightening these contradictions, putting in context about what's going down, you know what I'm saying? So the climate, there was an acknowledgement. There wasn't, no, there wasn't people you know, saying, "Well, I don't believe the police done that." It was up front, you know what I'm saying? You, you I mean, everyone, I mean, the movies were different. The, the, the street, the name was, was again. You had the black, you know, the, 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 as opposed to Blackstone Rangers, the Black Peace Stone Nation. You had the Black Disciples, the Vice Lords. Of it was a, a discussion. It, uh, uh, Chairman Fred would say the best dressed, best dressed brother was one with a leather jacket in the 45. It was no negating what was going on. There was a uh, the terms people used, uh, liberating. Um, and Lennon, Lennon said uh, uh, that what took people 20 years of learning ordinary times, they learned the two years of revolutionary times. You see a different dynamic, a different. It wasn't this trivial conversation. You know, see, it wasn't that elementary people talk, who had this person look or whatever. The, 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 I mean, the conversation. 
with sisters and brothers. It wasn't cool. So you, you know what I'm saying? You can rip this sister off. You can, you know what I'm saying? You can hit this brother's crib. You know what I'm saying? It was, in fact, a Chicago police himself had said at one time, he, he came to Cabrini Green in the early 1970s. A three year old child said to him, um, said to him, said to him, um, uh, and pig, what are you doing in our community? You know, you know what I'm saying? So it was a climate that, you know what I'm saying, that again, that people were acknowledging the contradiction, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, even the police, uh, when they, uh, with the assassination chamber free out of their arrogance, they went to go and leave, out the, leave the door open. And the lines were being drawn. It was up front, you know what I'm saying? People would be, you know what I'm saying, in, 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 everyday, in everyday conversations, the music. Marvin Gaye was, it was a climate where Marvin Gaye was able to go against Barry Gordon and the gangsters who really ran Motown Records and say, I'm going to put this song out. What's going on? Whether you like it or not. It was a climate where James Brown had a whole totally different song playing at first. Where a Trap Brown, I know it's man, Jimmy Lalamine, drove out on him and said, man, you better go back to the studio with the garbage you're talking about. He came back out to him and I'm black and I'm proud. He couldn't have pulled that stuff he pulled in the Rocky movie with the red, white, and blue drawers on Living in America. It was a climate where we see uh, similar to the day. We don't say, well, country, we drove on Kanye West and before he said, he said about George Bush, not like black people. Eight hours before he said that. You know what I'm saying? But, but a lot of people can relate to it. Now, right now, we're just climbing the coronavirus, the climbing of recognizing that death is a reality. It's a different conversation. So I think what a lot of people, you know, don't realize is, 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 is all the great work uh, that the chair and the chair have been did at such a young age. How old was he when he was assassinated? He was, uh, again, on his preface with this, is not by coincidence that they don't know, you know what I'm saying? People, you know, a lot of people scared to talk about it. When they, uh, Chairman Fred, before he was Chairman Fred, the FBI helped put a wiretap on, on the, the same house we're trying to save right now. The same house, the Hampton House, 804 South 17th Avenue, Maywood, Illinois. I got to put it in there. The GoFundMe.com forward slash Save the Hampton House 50. Cash out Save the Hampton House. That same house when he was 13 years old. When he was 13 years old, Washington D.C. FBI called to put a wiretap on that on that on that telephone Based when he, before he turned 14. They seen him take the junior NAACP from seven to 300 members in seven and a half month time period. When they gave him a trumped up case, say he took 71 dollars of ice cream from the, from the Good New Ice Cream Truck and gave it to the children. A, a, a brother who do a, a brother matter of fact a, a brother who we just lost recently with the stone. He he said he done the case. He told him he done the case. They said no. They gave Chairman Fred that case. Send them to State Bill, they don't send them to Menard. You know what I'm saying? They, they target, when they, call, when they call for that wiretap, they thought it was a typo. They said, this guy can't be that young. So, and when we talk about it, I'm not, we're not trying to be into no ego tripping, or, you know what I'm saying? But the deal is, it's important that people know so they can relate that there were, you know what I'm saying? That there were, we had not role models, but we had real models. People who came from our situation. The day after, the, the day after they assassinated Chairman Fred, the police came, people pulled the guys out their house in Maywood and told them there would never be another Fred happen. The way that they assassinated Chairman Fred was done in a strategic type of way, similar to the way doing the, on the plantation. They didn't just go out there and kill an old sister who ran away from the plantation. If she was pregnant, they went and got her. They didn't kill her out there in the fields. They brought her back, put her in front of all the masses, in particular the children, took this pregnant sister, slid her pregnant stomach open, stomped the fetus to death, that shook up generations to come. People say, well, a lot of people don't know about the Black Panther Party. It's not by coincidence. They punked a lot of their parents out. They spooked them. The police came out there chanting, chanting, Chairman Fred is dead. It's a war tactic. They took out, they knew to kill. They knew to lock up. When Genghis Khan with the Mongolians went through China, he didn't kill all the Chinese. He, he took out certain ones and he raised up certain ones. They took out certain individuals of the Black Panther Party and they raised up certain ones. It's a war tactic. You, you, you kind of broke up just the listeners again. How old was Chairman Fred? He had just turned 21. Chairman Fred had just turned 21 years old, August 30th. Defense Captain, P Defense Captain Mark Clark had just turned 22 that June before he was assassinated. This was Deborah Johnson, just turned 19, four, day, four five days prior. Doc Satchu, that must have Doc Satchu. These were teenagers. Hmm? And that's your mother, right? That's my, that's my, that's my, that's, that's not, that's my mother, comrade. That's, um, that's the widow of Chairman Fred Hampton. That's the chairwoman of the Civil Fourth Committee. That's a fighter, all right. Very, very interesting. You said something that was very interesting about his organization skills. You know, like I said, I've been knowing you for a long time, and you know, even 
even in, in the institutions or in concert or, or the other plantations, as you would call them. I saw that you were even organizing that. Do you feel that was something that was embedded in your DNA from your dad? No doubt. I I, I see my I, I I recall even before seeing footage of Chairman Fred. You know, I I just had to hold my hands down when I and I would even when I spoke fast. I would kind of fight it when I seen you know speak. I said, "Whoa, I'm cool. I'm good with that." And uh, that you know, like and I I recall even you know being in one of the places because Chairman Fred was in Menard in 1969. I was there in 1999, and I met some of the same individuals. I remember they they they, they renamed me De Deja Vu. They, 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 I was. They said, "Where you at?" Uh, I, I was when I got to Menard. I was taken and put in isolation. The warden, Warden Page, soon as he seen me, soon he got, they, I, they took me to say for having a Chicago Sun Times newspaper clipping, a picture of Chairman Fred, my father, and he was so reactionary and so racist. He, he said, "Lock that vice lord up." This, this is Ward, the Warden Menard, Warden Page. So they took me and they placed me in isolation. And I remember brothers down on the next gallery. Chairman, uh, where, where, where you at? You know your, you know your father was here. No, no, say over here. I said, yeah, and some of the same guys today say, what, what's, uh, what floor you on? You know your father's on that floor. What's? I said, whoa, y'all get me a little too close now. So, I, you know, and um, I remember even when they, when they, they framed me, gave me the case, one, one, the case in which they, uh, the, the, the uh, judge Michael Tuman gave me eighteen years. Um, one of the, the potential jurors had said, that's his son. <laughs> that's. Why we got? Why we got to go through the trial? Lock, lock them up, and so I, I mean, but I don't want. To, I don't want to just say DNA alone. I, you know, I, um, but I, I definitely, you know, I learned I, there's certain things. Second, you know, like even organizing it, I, his objectivity. I, I, you know, I see that, and I learned more about him more. And I've been fortunate and unfortunate enough to come into a lot of situations where the names have not even changed. You know, saying some of the same. Um, some, I mean, um, the case I was given. I was. I found it later on. It was by Sergeant Joseph P. Grubasek, who gave this is the same one who was involved in surveillance and, and, and assassinated my father, Chairman Fred. So some of the same players, you know what I'm saying? I done had some of the same issues, even on the streets with some, you know what I'm saying? Some of the same individuals, uh, offspring, and you know, and, and we and we made some monumental moves, you know, what I'm saying together. So it's a a lot of similarities, but again, we know things are constantly evolving and constantly changing, and constantly born, and constantly dying, dying and disintegrating, also. So I remember previously in, in the conversation that you that you mentioned something that I think uh, we really should speak on, and, and that every movement that has been successful has been started by teenagers, right? And so in today's climate, you know, a lot of the same things, if not all of the same things, are still happening when you think about police brutality and, and the social injustices that are going on. What would be... Uh, your thought process to, to, of talking to these young brothers about how important it is to organize it, and what's your thoughts on that? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to relegate it to, to that just the simply of that of the youth alone. And I, I don't want to put in that absolute because you got. I mean, you got. You got. We have cases of um, uh, North Carolina Dickens of Defense and so many other forces too. You know, today you know, what I'm saying uh, Fannie Lou Hamer. You know, what I'm saying Mississippi. You know, what I'm saying uh, mm -hmm. Niles County. You know, I, 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 it's you know cases, and again. We like even in the ruling class, they don't see the system get us caught up with these absolutes. Like, okay, the men and the, the men against the women, the young against the old, so on and so forth. The system, their position is whatever they got to do, whatever you know, so what, whether they got to come through uh, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, whatever the case, the agenda is going to be represented. The, the time the Black Panther Party seized the time, it was time, and, you know, seeing the location, everything was, um, and they studied the phenomena, and it was a you know, I, I I make a joke about it. You know, um, how certain like even certain chapters had to pop up before other certain chapters because you know what I'm saying. So that way the government couldn't get a head start up on them to you know, see what they, what they was going with this here. Uh, you 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 had you had a dream team. You know, and, and so you know what I'm saying. But the government also made sure that certain forces were not out. You know, like you know, Minister UEP knew in the field marshal George Jackson never met face to face. They were several cells apart. You know, what I'm saying uh, uh, locked up. You know, at the time when Chairman, when Mr. E.P. was released, Chairman, after Chairman Frey was assassinated, you know, me and us, uh, the Comrade Daphne, we make a joke about it, like, man, whoo, if Chairman Frey would have got his hands on Tupac, it had been on and popping, you know what I'm saying? So they study different dynamics where if this, if this person connects with this person. So, but even, 
I like even even the streets out, you know, like it's a uh, brother just talked we just talked recently, the, um, known as uh, Big Law in the streets. I you know, I I, I had the opportunity to you know, politicize him, you know, what I'm saying we went to certain points, you know, and we even gave him the name Little Little Bobby Hutton. I you know, what I'm saying Little Little after Bobby Hutton, and even in Chicago sometimes say he was assassinated. And that's a, and I've seen what the politics have done so, so many with so many forces, including myself. The politics, you know, what I'm saying I, I, I spoke at the, the funeral services of Tookie Williams, and we had, we went we went did our own thing. We went to the Lamert Park, and you know there was a Tookie grew up. Tookie Williams grew up in a climate deprived of an organization such as the Black Panther Party, where the only options in life are given to individuals to become a Boy Scout or a banker. So. We, you know, I studied it. Like when I'm in New, New, New Orleans, I branched down there according to Chewy. You know what I'm saying? We studied what's phenomenal with the second line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the favelas in, in Brazil, our chapter there. So we studied the people. We listened to them. And we don't cut no corners. We acknowledge the country. We talk about the, 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 the music, whatever. We take certain phenomena. We seen how we flipped the script on that, uh, the, 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 uh, that, uh, that, that, that Keith, that Chief Keith, uh, that C-H-E-E-F. Catch me. You know, I mean, uh, Keith song, I don't like. How we flipped it, and the, the police started harassing them youngsters when they seen the version we came out with them. You know what I'm saying? So you know, so we do we the dialogue with G Herbo. We did certain points of unity. We we come to the community as realists. You know what I'm saying? And not not just with our, our nose, our heads above them, and talking, engaging in dogma, elitism. We that's our office. The Black Panther Party comes. The streets is our office. Our work hours are uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our secretaries are them brothers and sisters you see out there on the street corners. Our work calls 24 hours a day again. Our desk is on gangways and alleyways. So, so to wrap it up real quick, what are you doing now, uh, Shannon? Uh, and, and, and what exactly is, is the Cubs? The Cubs, country, a lot of people say, hey, this, man, y'all young? No, well, no, no. The Cubs are the ideological offspring of the Black Panther Party. It's the organization that's carrying the legacy of the Black Panther Party. We can't, we take the heat and the tax all with it. It's ironic. It was some guys just making a joke about it uh other day. So Castle said, Damn, that's crazy. Cause it was this was like some slander on, on Black Panther Party Cubs. And, and ironically, it was saying this the individuals was the offspring of on, 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 uh, who the state used before, you know, Ron Karanga in LA, you know what I'm saying? Some of the it's like they actual offspring, you know what I'm saying? It was like like whoa, it's like how spooky it is. So the the, the similarities. So we the, the, the program the triple C's the uh, uh, children community and cubs every Saturday we in Santa Anita France our deputy chairman Franco just got locked up over there for you know some pro, some protests over there we in uh we in Sao Paulo we in, we in, we in Gary Indiana we in at the Hampton House the, the, the free food not charity but politicizing the people triple C's children community and cubs the uh, free of all radio the, the done the spirit of Black Panther Party intercommunity newspaper every Wednesday. Myself and our co-host, Lady of Rage, we intellectual radio like clockwork, 6.30, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, Free Them All Radio, and we spell it incorrectly, intentionally, Free Them All Radio, we put the word out on international level from Ghana to Ireland to inside, the, what's going on in, in the penitentiaries in Mississippi, Every putting the word, updating people, what's the campaign is going on, writing the, the, the Hampton House, fighting to save the childhood home of Chairman Fred Hampton, the house that Chairman Fred Hampton grew up in, right across the street from his elementary school he went to. Fighting to maintain the institution, and we check him and making sure we, we that legacy cross them T's and dot them eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like I just said, we don't care if it come in the form of some cats, some unclown kings, or some bogus T-shirts. We don't care if it come in. Sure. We don't care if it come in a, 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 a movie or if it ain't done. If, if it ain't checked in, we own it. A legacy is more important than our life. So, if it was one thing that you would like to leave, leave our listeners and our viewers with today, what would that be? <laughs> Support the troops. Support your troops. I mean, I, I, I know a lot of y'all, a lot of people, they man go up to somewhere else, but don't wait to, don't wait to the Black Panther Party Cubs I become a safe discussion. They put Muhammad Ali on the Wheaties box in the late 80s. And the guy said, why would you put, Muhammad Ali was an extraordinary athlete back in the 70s. Why you just put him on there now? And the representative of Wheaties said, we're going to do it now because he's safe. Don't wait to Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. become a safe discussion. Don't wait till the Black Panther Party become a, become a safe discussion. We serve hot meals and give hot politics. We give it to you right now. We need to seize the time. We need the people's support. We need to say the Hampton House. You know what I'm saying? Get in contact with us. We're, again, we're 804 South 17th Avenue, Illinois 60153. You know, get us a cash shop, save the Hampton House. We need the support of the people. Support your troops. The legacy of the Black Panther Party, protected, respected, and never neglected. And, you know, I really want to thank you. You've always been, you know, right on point and exact. 
uh, always uh, shoot straight from the hip as well as from the heart. And as your brother, you know, I really want to thank you for taking this time out to, to join us. Uh, but you have to give us one promise, man, because we couldn't, we couldn't cover everything that we needed to cover, man, in this short period of time, man. And once this uh, this virus or whatever it is, it, it's, it's over, man. We would love for you to come out, man, and, and, and give and give us in, in, in our youth and in, in our elders, you know, a, a real class on the Black Panther Party and what they what they meant then and now, if that's possible. I look forward to it. Now, I'm be critical of you now. When I went, now, why I take somebody from Oakland to come in and talk to the interview up now? You both been got me on this thing now. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I'm gonna be critical. You know what I'm saying? So, what you know, hey, I'm open. Up any anytime you call, I'm 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 now. I'm now. You know what I'm saying? Again, I tell people that people say, man, what what check uh, what Chairman Fred at? Man, he ain't hard to find. Where he at? Man, you go go check over there in Detroit. Police kill Hakeem Littleton. Go check in Philadelphia. You work on Mumi Mumi Abu Jamal case. You know what I'm saying? Sunday out of Cody case. I, I'm this is my addiction. The people. This is my and I ain't trying to get no rehab for it. I'm hooked on struggling for the people. We hooked on it. Okay, man. Brother Ali. Yes, sir. Man, this was yes, sir. Yes, sir. very enlightening, man. I, I, you know, I initially want to say once again, man, we appreciate from the audience, man. But when I say the spirit of your father resonates in you, man, I, I watch his videos and uh, I see a man with, with, with so much promise. Uh, and I feel like uh, part of his blessing was you, you know, uh, and you come you come with a strong passion. And everything I've ever heard was that, uh, man, you always been for the people, man. So uh, may your legacy continue. And uh, we're going to go to the people, man. Uh, Brandon Moss. Right on. You good? You good? Brandon Moss, come on, brother. What we got? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, man. It's actually an honor to even be on here with, 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 with Brother uh, Fred Hampton Jr. Because I remember running to him a lot down there on Madison a few times too. You know, just been around, whatever. You know, but um, one thing I always want to know, and it's crazy, I didn't even know who was actually going to do the credits I was switching today. But I was telling Brother Ali earlier, I was just talking about the fact how they had the, um, you know, the day he passed, how they had the bullets, you know, the, the bullets saying that it was, it, was, it was shots coming out of the house. And if you look closer to the pictures, it was just like like circles of, 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 of nails. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as the exit wounds. And one more other thing I, I, I want to ask you. What why was the why was the, the fan so so critical on the Panthers and the street organizations really getting to it? Like like having a war. Say say the say the last part again, my brother. The last part of the question. I say I really want to understand like why was the the fan so so in depth and so so just stuck on the point of the street organizations getting to it with with with, with the chairman? Okay, good question. Okay, right on. Let me um. Okay, we go we go right there. Yeah. Okay, let me let me say this. Uh, first first of all, good call. I appreciate you calling in. Um, but let, let's and we, and we and we we don't let, let's struggle. Let's struggle, my brother. Let's let's struggle to even like a cleansing process. You know even. That term, you know what I'm saying? And like, like even like when we see, like the chairman, that it's not ego trip. It's a it's official validation. It was a big thing with, with a lot of people. With, uh, with Jay Z had said Fred Hampton, he arrived the same day Fred Hampton died. And a lot of people say, Chairman, you should be happy that this famous rapper is mentioning your father's name. We not cut from that cloth. We you know what I'm saying we Chairman Fred was assassinated. He didn't pass away. This, you know what I'm saying? This and this we need to, we need to call that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I spoke in DePaul University. This young lady, the young lady, she said President Kennedy was assassinated before he happened to pass. It's it, man, it devalues what happens to us. You know what I'm saying? We have to call it for what it is. It's, it's brutal terms or brutal realities. Even Alcoholics Anonymous say the first step in addressing the problem is recognizing that we got a problem. You know what I'm saying? They called it for the word. It was an assassination. The lawyers are saying, don't, don't, don't go and don't open the crime scene. The Black Panther Party said, no, come up, we the people to come, come up here and see what's going on. Call the questions. Call it. That's half. That no one is half the battle. Sun Tzu says in the Art of War, the cardinal principle of warfare is to know thyself and know thy enemy. They got us so. You know what I'm saying? This is this is the, this is our time right now. It's not being. Let's, let's call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? Call it what it is. Reason again about the the, the, the potential. The, the, the latter part of your question. The, the politics. You know what I'm saying? The, the, like even with the gun, the, the, they call it the Mofrodak. 
the Mofford Act on the Senator Mofford was really the Panther bill. Once they started politicizing these cats, it became a problem. You seen the heat start coming down. You know what I'm saying? Even right now, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, when we, we done that, we done that remix on that, that I don't like song. That's when he came on them cats. Why do you think on, on G Herbo's song, he say, when he did a song with Nicki Minaj about Chirac, that got more airplay. When he done the song, but I read, he said, what about Fred Hampton for president as opposed to Donald Trump? That didn't get no airplay. So, you know what I'm saying? They, the deal is, they know what the Panther Party know, what the Panther Cubs know, is the potential power of the people. We are pregnant with potential. And we trying to, midwife, we, we working as midwife, we trying to, we, 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 we trying to birth this baby. And you got all type of dynamics with the system trying to cause an abortion. They trying to cause a miscarriage. If they knew the Black Panther Party was, was bringing, they was coaxing them. It was, and a lot of people come in, they're reactionary. They look at our people as a one night stand. They come in, they talk, they do some murder mouthing. They 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 use different names. You're saying uh, take chairman name, Black Panther Party name, throw it out there. One night stand, uh, procreate, leave some babies there. They gone. And, you know, we I, we in this for the long haul. It ain't new chairman. Fred one plan. They knew to kill. They knew to lock up. They did psychological profile. Same thing cats do on the street. Cats, but who is that? Don't pull it with him. He ain't playing. They knew who was serious. They knew, you know what I'm saying? The deal that we got to be clear on that. Man, thank you. Thank you, bro. So, be clear. Let's be clear. Uh, 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 family. Everybody here, we know the family. But let's be clear. The, 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 the title and, and uh, the position of chairman is earned. It's been earned. People, uh, uh, blood has been shed and for it. It's deserved. It's well deserved. So let's keep uh, that in mind. Chairman Fred Hamden. Question for Chairman Fred Hamden Jr. From Antonio. Let's go. Hello. Go ahead, Antonio. Hello, I'm on mute. We hear you, Antonio. We hear you. Okay. Uh, I was just wondering what your thoughts on um, the Black Lives Matter movement uh, movement compared to the ADOS movement and which one is um, really supporting um, the guidelines or the struggle that the Black Panther Party um, put its motion. I think that time we said our civil disappointment. See, Chicago was real. I ain't said tripping, man, but I tell you, I'm coming from. I'm from Africa. I just raised, you know, I'm, 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 I'm raised in Chicago. But our, the structure, see, structure. You you have you, know, you got these disappointments. We keep on. We, I don't understand. We have an organization, the Black Panther Party Cubs. That you know, what I'm saying that's tell, that's laying out. You know, what I'm saying this, this is the organization kind of legacy. But it's like we keep on looking around. Well, what about okay? So, someone said this was making grandma's meals right now, and this one said, well. What do you think about McDonald's or Burger King? They make, you know what I'm saying, how about by making grandma's meals? They said, listen, man, I just told you this is this is lady right here. She cooked, she, she's sweating, she's doing the same type of cooking. And there's no slight on the other dynamics. Let's acknowledge that so we don't become disappointed. It identifies these kinds of like a lot of people say I, I, the, 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 the word sellout is one of the most overused terms in the black community. One of the most overused terms. People come in and they set themselves up for failure. You know, oh man, such such sold out. They never said it was on what you thought it was on. If, a, if an individual go to the pet store and buy a goldfish and throw a leash and a, a leash and a collar on it and wonder why it ain't barking, what's that's on you? That's on you. They telling you this what this is, man. These organizations tell you what they own, but you no, man. It's like you it's like a relationship. Sister so get over the guy. He said, "Listen, I ain't talking about no serious thing." Or vice versa. Okay, we go. Uh, we just hanging out for a minute. Oh, I can't believe this here, man. Such an broke my heart. They told you through the door. So these, so that's acknowledging for what it is. When people take this, what this is, man. This organization, man. I was listening, to, man. Black Power matters. That's the that's the power of our lives. There's no slight. If that's your cup of tea, so be it. See structure. This guy called me one day from Baltimore. He called me, said, "Man, I, I'm watching this TV show, Chairman. I thought you said there were no snitches in Chicago." I said, "I didn't say that. I said I told you we don't call no gangsters." I said, this is structure. This is, I said, man, I said, man, Nikki Barnes ain't no, I said, this is, this is, this is they, they exist. Let me tell you a real deal war story real quick. After Hurricane America, y'all might call it Hurricane Katrina. We call it Hurricane America. Brought five families back from New Orleans. The so she said, you different from the rest of the preachers and pastors. I said, first of all, I had to ride down here and come down and get our people. We want some whatever vehicle, so be it. Brought her back. This is the man, what you, man, you, what year this was. Took her back. She said, she pulled me to the side. She said, listen, 
my mama ain't never been to Baton Rouge. My mama ain't, mama ain't, ain't never been to New Orleans. I'm concerned. I said, what's the issues? What's, what is it, sis? Dope or crack? She said, dope. I don't know where my mama is. I said, give me, give me, I said, give me 20 minutes. I put her mama in 22 minutes. She said, how you know mama? I said, in this city here, it's a structure. We know where to go. It's a, you know what I'm saying? We have contradictions. So, the, so they tell you this organization is this, and the writing be on the wall. So acknowledge that. You can, I can, you can go up in McDonald's. Hey man, I want to order my grandma's uh her uh, macaroni and cheese. I want her cabbage. And, huh? Oh y'all bogus, man. Messed up my grandma's meal. They, they, they tell you what this is. So you had these different organizations. We acknowledge it for what it is and move accordingly. No disappointment. Okay, thank you. We got another question from, uh, who we got now? Okay, this is a question, anonymous. Before we go there, I want to say this, man, because one thing I recognize is that when we're talking about a movement like Black Lives Matter, and all lives matter, if you look at it, the Black Panther Party uh, spoke on, you know, all power to the people. Uh, years ago, so when when I hear you talk with so much passion about certain things already being laid out, and then also how millions of dollars being funneled to certain people, but here we trying to save the house where Fred Hampton uh, was born and raised. But if it was Abraham Lincoln log cabin, we come on man, have, had a problem. Come on man, so, yes sir. So so we definitely need. You know, the people that's online, we definitely need to make sure we get that cash up and, and make sure we can do whatever we can to promote the saving of this house, man. Because that, that's not, and, and I, think, I think you also haven't said that the house is a museum. And you yes, sir. And you can actually see yes, sir. Uh, certain artifacts that ain't going to be seen nowhere else. So Good. I think people need to know that as well. Good point. So, uh, so let's go. You say, what are your thoughts? on the recent rise in children and innocent bystanders being slain uh, recently in Chicago. Not only, not only in Chicago, not only in Chicago. Let's, let's, go, let's, let's, let's deal with Chicago. Let's deal with it was, was infamous referred to as Chirac. This, I mean, the people's pain reflects, it hurts. And the deal is, man, the politics gives me my sanity. I mean, man, what's been done? I mean, you you, you look at the ingredients that's been put down on, on, on these children in particular, man. The recipe for destruction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some, I mean, you really should be surprised a lot of these cats ain't resulted to cannibalism, man. Real talk. It, it hurts to say that, man. This is, I mean, this is, I mean, the, the, the different dynamics. If you put Martians in a position that was happening in our communities, man, and, you know, and you see, it's, I mean, create chaos and restore order. I mean, this is, I mean, the, man, you can, I mean, the different, it's certain forces, I mean, uh, 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 that have been strategically taken up out of our community. They talk about like even just it was a case, a, a story on animal, on animal, on the animal channel, and the, the elephants were going through musk. They were teenagers. They were bumping each other. They were challenging each other. They weren't no bad elephants. They weren't because they was Capricorns. They were just there was a natural dynamic with these elephants. They brought one bull, one bull, one male elephant. Just put him there. His presence alone tempered the other elephants. That, you know, certain people release pheromones. Men release pheromones. It's, 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 no, it's no ego trip. It's, 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 a, it's a reality. You see, just to mention a certain people's name. They talk, today, uh, 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 Larry Hoover, chairman of the growth and development, go go for parole hearing today. You know what I'm saying? You, told, you, 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 you hear some cats, you say Chief Mali. Certain names, you can see certain cats, they backbones, they, they lift up, they straighten up. When you be deprived of certain individuals, it's a war tactic. You know what I'm saying? These a child told me, man, I ain't enough, man. I'm telling you, man, this guy about 14 years old with that same school I told you I was speaking at one time. He raised up and I thought I, I addressed him. I said, we, I said, we got clear. He said, man, he had tears in his eyes. He said, man, you the first man I ever met. I had to hold back tears in my eyes, man. 14 years old. You said, because we broke up, you said 14 years old, you said you're the first man saying again. We in this school on Sydney, there was on Sydney First and Jeffrey, Winnie Mandela, I'm having flashbacks on it right now. It was named Winnie Mandela. This young cat, he came in, you know, he got to feeling himself. He was going through, them, them elephants go through called musk. He was feeling himself. So I gave him that deodorant. When I told him, I said, when I got him clear. I ain't talking no physical, that tighten him up. No, no, I know you know, brother, I know you know. 
But you know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of people end up into the they end up into the cosmetic aisle. They, they don't know they, 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 they think that you mean you gotta tighten them up all the time. But just the presence, just the discussion, just the, the relating to him. He teared up. He said, Man, you're the first man I've ever met. He also told me later on, 30 minutes later, he say they kill people like you, man. We got a question, man, from the brother Edwin, man. Edwin, come on, man, hit us with something, brother. Yeah, good afternoon, y'all. Chairman Fred, much respect. respect. Edwin, I'm coming to you from LA. Tap in through George and SF State, man. Right on. Here. I'm on yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, indeed. So it's, a, it's always love for you. You know that. Right on. Um, you do as well. And I, 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 I've always been in tune with what you're talking about. They create chaos and restore order. And that's where we're at right now. We're at chaos with COVID. We're at chaos with financial crisis. We're at chaos with, with just the continued assassinations of, of, of folks of a, a different color, right? So yeah. now how can we, as, as, as different groups, right, that, that see this and want to stand up for, for our people, right? I know what you're doing. Triple C's out there in Chicago. Salute that. You know, we got something similar going on over here. We feed the community, right, through organizations like Homies on Mm -hmm. It is this real dudes from the block feeding people on the block. So how do we tie that movement? And I know it's it's different what's going on in Chicago. It's different what's going on in L.A., what's going on in every other place, right? But we got a lot of similarities. How do we tie that and then let us restore some order to some capacity? Maybe it's some at the policy level. Maybe it's some on the block level. We get our people right, right? Because we got to educate, organize, and arm, right? I hear your, 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 your dad's speeches a lot, and, and, and that shit sticks with me. Educate, organize, and arm the people, right? So how is it that we together can restore some order for our people in L.A., in Chicago, in Oakland, wherever it be? Right on, right on for your call. I think I think I think we should, we, should, we, we, we let the record reflect. You know, you don't see me in action. You don't see me in action in the hoods of Chicago. You don't see me in action in, in San Francisco, L.A. You know what I'm saying? This is, I can tell you, I ain't set tripping. We, we respect no colonial borders. You know, I've been in the Merck Park all over. We just we've been we uh, in Standard Rock, North Dakota, with the Native community, Indigenous community, right there. You know what I'm saying? Form a coalition. We just uh, just recently in Chicago with Chirac with the Black the costume between the, the Black and Brown community. Matter of fact, in L.A. That was me and the Mortal Technique that had the Black and Brown Unity Tour down there. And we, you know what I'm saying, the time, we, we addressed it as realists. Right in Chicago recently, we, you know what I'm saying, like, t- like man, it's like, like a relationship. I said, hold on, not yet, not yet. I balanced the who I met with, you know what I'm saying, before me and King Tone, you know what I'm saying, like Kings, before, before we had our dialogue on, the, the, on Instagram, who I went before, with the, you know what I'm saying, we come in, every meeting I go to, I don't care if it was a black folks, brown, whoever it is, I don't come in with no foregone conclusions. I'm going to come out alive. He's going to come out alive. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's got family, the same family members. We're going to hide some contradictions. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no oh, I don't want to hear that part. It's like, yeah, you got to be willing to throw up. It's a lot of stuff that people don't want to see come about. Oh, man, I ain't, I ain't know that part. I ain't know such and such. We're going to lay all cards on the table. Whoever it be, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? In, 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 in fact, the lines of distinction, the demarcation have to be drawn. Whose interest do you work in? Because, see, everybody don't want this violence to stop. They think that, or once we, I don't believe that, you know what I'm saying, people just not, they don't, they don't you know what I'm saying, once you get, read a book to them or give them some green juice or dashiki, they're going to start, you know, getting online. We have, we have to come in willing to be very clear that some casualties in this war that's waged on us. Because no corners, I don't care who, people, we do these campaigns by police kids and their family, they say, Chairman, how do you know which person the, the, the news going to work? Which uncle going to sell out? Which, uh, which, which auntie, gonna, which mother going to work a deal? I study my own family. I don't cut no corners with nobody. I study myself. You know what I'm saying? So that we combat with Chairman Mao Zedong. You got to combat liberalism. Come, you know what I'm saying? Heighten the contradiction. And the deal is, people become conscious or get involved in struggle one of three ways. One is this: the reality, inspiration, aspiration, or desperation. See all that stuff they talk about in the American Revolution. Patrick Henry saying, "Give me liberty, give me death." That might have been a few cats saying that. That wasn't. The, that wasn't the, the, the consensus of all of them. You know what I'm saying? You. The deal was, as Thomas Jefferson said, one third was for it, one third was against it, and one third went whichever way the wind blew. And you got to. We got to come in with that acknowledgement and that reality. Just saying, a structure. Some for us to complain. Chairman Fred knew who, who, who the Panther, who the Paper Panthers was. He knew who the Rally Panthers was. 
He was a realist. And we got in our community. The, the, man, and all this abstract momentum, we're going to come together. We all going to be together, the same uh, ideas. We're going to hug. Man, when you come out from Utopia, let me know. I'm going to be right here in Chirac on the ground dealing with the real world. I'm going to be right here in, uh, in L.A. I'm going to be you know what I'm saying, in, South, in Brazil, in France, in the community with the people dealing with dialectical materialism, dealing with real deal contradictions. That's what we got to come with. Anything less, anything less would come with, you, with simple race nationalism. Simple, you know what I'm saying? Just simple, not addressing the class contradiction. It's like bringing a butter knife to a gunfight. They ain't, them cats, they ain't got no butter knife. They being armed. Norfolk Railroad giving them young man, man, heavy AK 47s. Hey, you can't come with them but the real. Salute and thank you, man. Thank you as always, man. Good to hear your voice, man. I'll see you soon. I'm, I'm, I'm getting back that way. So I'm getting back, getting, getting back that way soon. Real talk. Champion, you know it's all love always. All love. Right on. Yeah, yes, sir. Free them all. We appreciate you uh, tuning in and always from LA, man. We appreciate that, Kelly. Uh, man, with this thing going bigger than we thought. Uh, but I also want to, before we wrap up, man, just to. Just a note for, you know, some of our participants out there, man. Um, you know, the fact that Chairman Fred Hampton was 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 murdered, not by one, there was something put in his drink, you know, that, that before he laid down the sedate, uh, sedative, that was put in his drink before he laid down with his wife, pregnant wife. And two, when he was shot, the last shot, the kill shot, was done by a black police officer by the name of, of Gloves, right? And uh, we talking about somebody that went, stood over him and actually did it and said, now he did after the after that kill shot. Um, we talking about a revolutionary uh, gentleman that put his life on the line, knowing that he had a child coming, knowing that he had a wife that he loved, Knowing that he could be quiet, he could easily be quiet and and and, and live live what we know today as a, as a peaceful life. If he chose to be quiet, he chose not to do that, and he put his life on the line. That's why we got the one looking to try to uh, support the house, to look and see see what we can do to even support the uh, the Cubs, the Pat, Black Panther, and the uh, Cubs movement because we got to we got to be a part of something that's really. You know what I'm saying? That's champion for us and, you know, the power to all people. They came with a solution. I'm not saying you join or whatever, but I'm saying do your research on what's, what's the history of certain things. But we know how to uh, 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 navigate through life in our situation here already. Uh, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr., man, listen, brother, you deserve the title. Uh, your father deserves his respect and his legacy. I appreciate you for coming. I know I speak for the Craig family, man. We appreciate your wisdom. And like my brother uh, Curtis told us, said, man, we need you to come in and stop in and talk to our guys, man. Uh, you need it. We got to have you, man. We need to protect you and make sure you say. And I also want to add this, man. I, uh, uh, man, your father, Tombstone, gets shot up on a regular basis, man. I don't think people even understand hmm. the deep hate that people got that they shoot up this man Tombstone on a regular basis, man. So, uh, and this is just hateful, man. It's something we got to stand up and, and let it be known. We ain't going to tolerate a lot of this stuff, that's, this madness that's going on, not for the people the legacy uh, that, that your guys like your father had. So peace and bless to you, brother. And I hope to see you back, man. I look forward to it. I thank, thank you. I, I thank you all for having us, you know what I'm saying? National Radio and at, uh, uh, yes, sir. What's the other, what's the radio and the, what's the radio station? Free, free them all, free them all radio. We going live from Intellectual Radio, Intellectual Radio Studios, free, as every Wednesday, Free them all is hosted by myself and Lady of Rage, every, uh, Central, uh, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, every Wednesday. Y'all, you know what I'm saying, tune in with us, you know what I'm saying, shout out to y'all, my brother Kirk, you know what I'm saying, appreciate y'all, up, man, real talk, I see now, you know what I'm saying, help, help facilitate this here thing, man. Hey, man, let's make history, take history, and take history, man. Save the Hampton House, man. Support the troops, man. The Cubs are coming. The Cubs are coming. The Black Panther Party Cubs are here. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Y'all have a great day, man. Chicago crib next week, same time, same place. Tell you right. Yes, sir. Peace. Bring them all, power to people.